Yo, what is going on, you slushy slurpluffs? Today, we are playing some games with uh, a Pokemon deck. This is Mark Lutz's weird concoction of Marshadow Machamp, Garchomp, Giratina, Tag Teams, comboed with Miss Magius, and a one of Mimikyu. Um, so, the main idea behind this deck, as far as I could gather, is to uh, use a couple of Miss Magius or a Miss Magius plus a Mimikyu. Uh, they knock out one of their tag teams as you're doing this to draw a couple prizes and then you reset stamp them to one card and then kind of try and take over the game from there. Uh, the deck's pretty cool. Um, I've played around with it a little bit. Um, it definitely seems to work. The deck definitely functions pretty well overall. Um, I don't even know where I would start to make changes with this deck if I wanted to because there's so much random shenanigans going on. Um, but it is a Mark Lutz deck, so uh, what can you really expect? Yeah, so I don't have too much to say on the list. It works. I've been playing around with it a little bit. Uh, let's just go ahead and get into some games. Up against the Pika Judge in this one, as we can tell by this mulligan from our opponent, unless it's some other deck that plays Lightning Energy Judge and Electromagnetic Radar, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's Pika Judge. There is a boy. Um, depending if I want to start with Acro Bike here or not. Um, Machamp, March Shadows. I mean, we just really need two GX Pokemon, I feel like. So I think I should thin out. I'm a champ guy here. Uh, we do have a 2 2 Miss Magus in the deck. We probably won't even want to use Mimikyu in this matchup. Just want the 2 2 Miss Magus, and we'll be good to go. <clears throat> now I'm going to Acrobike. Grab ourselves the Karate Belt, I think. Excuse me. And then into the Poke Gears. Pretty much take anything. I'm, I'm down to just actually coach trainer for four here. See what we get and then kind of go from there. Coach Trainer. Okay, we got a treasure. Get rid of this Poke Gear because that's never a guarantee. Get ourselves a Mistrevis. Uh, get him into play. It can bench the Machamp. Match a fighting to the Machamp. And then pass over to our opponent. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how we're gonna play this one out. We I we should be just favored. I feel like we can just like kind of KO two tag teams and the game's gonna be over. Um, which I think we can just do pretty reasonably. Just KO two tag teams. Like, that seems pretty easy, actually. Um, we'll see, though. It might be a little bit harder than I'm uh, currently giving it credit for. I don't know. Yeah, it might be a little bit harder than uh, than I think. But it seems pretty easy. It seems pretty straightforward to get uh, two tag team knockouts in a row here. Yeah, I don't know about getting the Karate Belt over the Psychic Energy. This deck doesn't play a whole ton of energy, but that seems fine as well. Uh, the Karate Belts are pretty important. Um... Uh, to actually being able to attack aggressively with this deck. So, seems fine. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We could be pretty aggressive next turn and actually go with, like, a knockout with the 100 blows impact on the Pika Rob. I guess we'll see how much energy they get in play and where they put it. Um, if they commit, like, two energy to a Pika Rom or something, that'd be, like, pretty good to knock out um, on our turn two. We do already have the double customs. The deck only plays one switch, but we do have the greens, so we can find it as long as it's in there. I mean, we're going to be using greens next turn pretty much no matter what, so should be fine. There's a dead age change from our opponent. It's pretty unlikely that our opponent gets the turn one full blitz here. Um, yeah, because they like open the Coco. That makes it awkward. Yeah, it's pretty unlikely that they're going to get the turn one full blitz here. I mean, they still could possibly. I guess maybe I did want to put the Karate Belt down. I forgot that it is a, it is a Pika Judge build. Um, that kind of just can't we saw them all again. We saw the judge. I probably should have put the karate belt on the Marshadow Machamp actually um, Don't think I would have wanted to play anything else everything else could have stayed in the hand But I think the karate belt should have actually gone on the Marshadow uh, Machamp Next time I'll get him next time Don't worry. Um, yeah, so I think we're gonna go for the the knockout on the Pikachu's that crowd I, I mean, we'll see how much energy ends up there, but I that seems pretty good to me um, Yeah, I think a retreat if they, especially if they dance the Ancients this turn and put the energy on the Pikaram, I think 100% we want to go chase Pikaram, knock it out. Um, we'll kind of see if they do that or not. They don't have to. I mean, it would make sense for them to do it because there's a possibility we knock out their active. They're not going to do it. I think we should still go for it. Um, we can check for the switch. We don't know if the switch is in here. Oh, oh switch is here. Very nice. Um, so we can get switch and a... I don't know, switching up power plants. Oh no, we need an energy, so we should go energy spinner or a fighting energy, I think I want to say. Um, so we can go karate belt, uh, switch. 
evolve going through everything here. Uh, I think I might just want to throw a dojo out there to get out of my hand to draw an extra card off this guy. Spinner or... Actually, I think I want a Psychic Energy here to set up potentially a second. Uh, we probably won't be setting up another Machamp Mars. We'll probably be setting up this guy. So I'm just going to grab a Fighting Energy here. Weakness Guard Energy would have been ideal. Um, but, oh well. Yeah, and then we're just going to knock this guy out with the 100 Blows Impact. I guess we'll see need a second Fighting if we want to attack with this on the next turn. So it actually kind of makes sense to, to grab the Fighting there. Um, don't really want to bench the other... Well, we could bench him, I guess. Yeah, it's fine to bench him, I guess. I could, I could, uh, I could end up poorly. Yeah, 100 blows, impact, knock out this, uh, Pikaram here for 400 damage because of the martial arts dojo. Weakness guard energy, or just energy in general off the prizes there is pretty good. So we can attack next turn. And we seem to be in a pretty good spot. Um, look to set up this second, uh, Machamp Mars Shadow. Maybe just revenge for like 30 next turn. I don't know. Uh, pretty likely that we're gonna get judged or what's it called it here judged or reset stamped um, If I had to bet I would assume our opponent is gonna judge or reset stamp us, which is that's fine I can deal with that would have been nice to get another mischievous into play so that way uh, greens into dusk stone or just dusk stone or Treasures or getting the mismages itself is like live uh, To evolve off of should we get uh, reset stamped? Um, but if not, that's fine. I think we're still gonna be in a fine spot um, We can even build up into the GX attack um, I don't know. We have a lot of options here. There's a Dedene from our opponent, so they are definitely don't have a ton of options in their current hand if they're getting a Dedene. That actually is, uh, I mean, I'd be a little, <laughs> that'd be a little bit annoying to They have a seven card hand, and they're getting a Dedene off a of Cherish Ball. That's never a a good sign. Well, they have an E Radar to back it up, so maybe it's not too bad. Maybe I'm a little bit uh, over exaggerating how bad it is. It doesn't seem great to me though. You never really want a Cherish Ball for a Dedene with a seven card hand. I feel like. All right, and let's say, I mean, if it all plays out, find out of the hand, I guess it's fine. There goes a judge, but well, they did get it at any, so I doubt we're getting judged uh, this turn, or well, out of this current hand. They might get a judge afterwards. There's your fresh Picaram, and a, what's it called? The thing I'm getting scared of right now is just kind of getting this guy, or this guy gusted up with custom catchers, and then having it be trapped, because um, we did just use our one and only switch uh, right there, so yeah. They could definitely bring one of these up and trap it in the active. There's a retreat to a Dedene. Uh, we'll see if they actually switch back at all this turn. Because uh, they could go... Ooh, two E-Powers. All right, they could go Dance of the Ancients to these two guys. And then E-Switch over Switch. But they have a Dedene and something in hand. Who knows what the, the other card is. Uh, it could be a Switch, though. So they could go Switch this guy back to the Picarab. And then they're looking for... Energy switch or tag switch plus an attachment, which would work for a full blitz. Um, we'll see if it's a switch in hand or not. If they do have a switch, they should probably switch here into the bigger ROM and do the full blitz. But that's still kind of, I mean, they could go for fourth E power and I guess tag bolt knock us out. Um, but then they do lose to revenge on our turn, which is not great. There's an E switch. Okay, so from the Raichu to the Pika ROM. And, and if our fourth, I didn't check, but if our fourth custom catcher is in the deck, we can just knock out the speaker ROM. Or the Raichu Raichu, and then the game's over. Uh, we'll see. Oh, they're going to the Raichu Raichu. Oh, so they plan to paralyze us. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, though. Paralyzing us is uh, pretty good, actually. Uh, I'm not going to argue on that at all. That's pretty good, actually. I, it's actually, yeah, it's pretty good. Paralyzing us is not bad. We don't have any more switch cards. We could heal him with a great potion or two, but they're hitting pretty hard with the uh, Tandem Shock here with the two E powers in place. So it's like 220 damage. So it's probably not worth healing this guy. There is a Volkner. Switch Lightning Energy should be coming out here. Switch to Dene, or they could take, if they play to a skateboard, ooh, the reset stamp, even a little bit more powerful. All right, so it might get a little bit awkward here for us, uh, but I think we're still fine. I think we're still fine. We don't even need to find an energy next turn because we can use Revenge the turn after. Um, yeah, so here we go. Reset stamp, third energy, tandem shock, knockout, or not knockout, paralyze this guy, there we go, two treasures, we can get Miss Magus into Mischievous on the, or Mischievous into Miss Magus on the next turn, and then we're, we're fine, we're back in the game, there's the Tandem Shock, that's fine, we're paralyzed, oh well, um, I could still heal it with the Great Potion if I wanted to, there is a Lusamine, which is super good, I think I'm actually just gonna give up this Great Potion, get this small guy, and put him down, and then Lusamine, for these two, actually, we don't really have a choice there. And then we'll probably treasure away the coach trainer next turn. 
um, use the mischievous or Miss Magus, and then use greens afterwards and try and come up with a combination of cards to win the game next turn. Ideally, uh, we can go like karate belt plus energy. Second spinner isn't there. I'm not sure about second karate belt being in there, but we could go counter gain plus energy spinner and revenge plus a martial arts dojo if we need to, because we will be behind again on prizes and that would one shot this guy. So it's really going to come down to what our opponent does. I'm interested to see what our opponent does here. Um, Cause I got no idea, man. I've got no idea what they uh, what they plan to do. So we'll see here. It's all gonna come down to what they do. Bill's analysis. Uh, uh, I mean, what's a call would be a little bit annoying, I guess, if they did uh, reset stamp us again, cause our hand is kind of cool. Um, these three cards are definitely better than a random three cards. It's a Thunder Mountain and a communication all right communication get rid of jirachi probably gonna go into some kind of one prizer yeah the zapdos I guess they're gonna knock us out with zapdos that's fine though like i said we can still do the revenge play and knock out well, we can just knock out the peak around now that's gonna be the goal is to knock out squeak around um yeah that's the goal knock out the peak around we do need we don't even need the dojo anymore yeah we don't need dojo um I guess we're still we're still scared of getting paralyzed though. Getting paralyzed would be super annoying. But they're leaving the dojo in play. Um, I don't like that. They definitely should have gotten rid of the dojo. Wait, doesn't make a big difference. No, never mind. It's fine. <clears throat> now we can look to reset stamp them and power plant them if we should whiff. That would be our go-to play. Would be reset stamp power plant. So I'm gonna give it to the coach trainer. The greens are just kind of generally better. Um, yeah, so if we whiff a combination to kill. Pikaram off the bench. Then we're going to go with Reset Stamp Power Plant. Um, and that should hold them in place until we eventually draw away to win the game. There's a Fighting Energy. There's an Energy Spinner. That's not going to be enough, though. Um, he just goes down. So I think it is going to be the Reset Stamp Power Plant off this greens. Yeah. Get ourselves the Stamp and the Plant. I am going to Energy Spinner for a, another... Oh, whoa, never mind, it's a Psychic. We're out of Fightings. Okay. Then we will Reset Stamp. We will Power Plant, hopefully trapping the Zapdos in the active for a little while here uh, to give us some time to kind of figure out a game plan to win this one. We're, we don't have uh, a lot of... We need some stuff. We need some stuff. We're definitely going to go with the Coach Trainer next turn, depending on our top deck, because we could go Greens for Greens plus a combo piece. And then get the other two combo pieces on the following turn with the second greens. So depending on what we top deck, we could go greens for greens plus a combo piece. Um, we really have to wait and see. They did get an energy off the reset stamp. So it is going to be 160 and paralyzed. So we have to get like two great potions now. Um, Tandem shock 160 paralyzed. We can go down to what we can heal off 100. So it'll be 70 on us. But it has to be greens for Duke Great Potions. I, I mean, I think we just lose eventually. I don't think we're going to win this one. This one's, this one's looking really tough. Uh, I think we're going to take an L here in this first one. Maybe I should have held on to that first switch for a little bit longer. So I could get out of these uh, annoying par paralyzation situations. Uh, pass over to our opponent. They can uh, lightning ride us, but only for 150. So they don't knock us out yet. And they would have to go to the bench. So they have to. They definitely have to move their Raichu Raichu. They cannot leave Raichu Raichu in the active. Too risky, for sure, to leave Raichu Raichu in the active. So that guy's got to move for them. So they're probably going to Lightning Ride to the bench. And if they have another energy to hard retreat, like a Dedenne next turn, then they do just win the game. There's nothing we can do about that. So we're going to have to hope that they don't have energy or a switch card on the following turn to knock us out. Because I don't think we're going to win next turn. We have to get really lucky off the Coach Trainer. The Coach Trainer would have to find us. We have to Coach Trainer into a double Custom Catcher uh, Fighting Belt thing. Uh, or, yeah, we're out of fight. Karate Belt. We have to get Karate Belt Double Custom Catcher off our Coach Trainer. Um, which is probably just not going to happen. I mean, we'll see what they do. They could leave it in the active, but that doesn't sound very good. Um, yeah, is the Lightning Ride. They are going to run it to a Dedene, if I had to guess here. And we could hard retreat to the Yertina Garchomp, but I don't think we ever win the game if we do that. So we have to play it out um, with the Coach Trainer. Oh, well, there's Karate Belt. So... Coach Trainer into Double Custom? Well, uh, you know what they say, right? Sometimes, uh, what the heck? And Double Custom Catcher, bring up the Raichu, and we will uh, uh, GX for the Knockout here. Well, you know what? Sometimes you get uh, a little lucky, and you beat the Pikaram with the 
uh, Marshadow Machamp, Giratina, Garchomp, Dot Deck. All right, we're up against Guardian in this one. The uh, coach trainer start is pretty cool, pretty sick, pretty slick. Rest of the hand, nothing too ridiculously good. Uh, we do need fighting energy there. Um, the weakness guard energy, we could try and get on a uh, Tina Chomp, um, and then we could like. I think GGX is, or the end, GG end, <laughs> GG end is a pretty good GX attack to use in this matchup. Um, so we probably want to look to use GG end um, as our GX attack in this one, um, but it's hard to set up because it takes two psychics and a fighting, so it's just really difficult to set up. It's, uh, it's just really difficult to set up. Um, acro here. Huh. <clears throat> Go with the dojo. I'll go with the dojo here. All right. Greens is pretty cool. Um, put one weakness guard here. Greens exploration. Probably gonna get a coach. Huh. We could just get. Um, I'm trying to like. I don't know how this game's gonna go, man. This is like super awkward. Look at the hand again. Could get a greens and a treasure. Yeah, let's go with greens and treasure here. Take treasure away the dojo. To get a mischievous into play. I want to get like two mismages into play though, and then like. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward, man. Um, we should probably use. Uh, let's go with the revenge. I don't think we're gonna get our hand reset. Even if we do get our hand reset, I'm kind of fine with it. Our hand just really isn't that great, so. They do want to reset our hand. I, I'm kind of fine with that. Like, I, I don't know. It doesn't it want to be that ridiculously bad if they uh, <laughs> reset, our hand, reset our hand. Okay, there. Scoop up build. Just going to make this a whole lot harder. That is a a lot of potential healing to get through. So, yeah, it's going to make it, everything way more difficult with that uh, that healing. Okay, so now we can go... Ooh, energy spinner top deck's pretty nice. Just hit him really hard, for sure. Um, go ahead, throw this out. Greens exploration. Gonna grab coach, I think, and the dusk stone. Just get the Miss Magus into play. Um, so if they do reset stamp me or something, I can like draw cards, or when they eventually GX attack me as well. I think I can get rid of one piece. I can get rid of this. Yeah. I want to keep the karate belt. I'm pretty sure. I don't know for sure. Like this deck, this deck's complicated, man. I don't know. I don't know anything to be honest. Doing the best out here. Um, yeah, we hit him with the hundred blows, and now they definitely need to come up with something. They need another guardian. Um, yeah, they need some. They need something. They cannot currently live with the current situation. They will lose uh, if they continue to play the game this way. There's a spinner that is not a guardian. They need a guardian here. <laughs> There's a coach trainer for four. I'm rooting for them to get a guardian. I want this game to continue. Okay, there we go. Cherish ball. Uh, that's a Xerneas. There's a guardian. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm rooting for them to get a what's it called here. They did. That's cool. Game continues. Let's do it. Um, they're going to go with the fairy song here, though. Give up three prizes and two energy in play. Interesting choice. Um, I thought for sure they would have gone with uh storm this energy to the bench dude but they didn't which is uh fine with me um i think i might actually oh, i might save the loose to get a stadium back actually let's go with another coach what up coach could stamp them it doesn't seem quite appropriate yet so i think we just go 100 blows impact yeah sure <clears throat> could have gone with the gx attack um it didn't seem necessary though. We are way ahead on the prize exchange, so the karate belts are going to be pretty useless at this point. Uh, we really need to find another Pokemon to start charging up with the energies. That's our goal now. We need to find another Pokemon to charge up with our energies. Is this. What does this say? It has at least one extra energy attached to it in addition to its attack cost, and it would be knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack during their next turn. It is not knocked out, and its remaining HP is 10 instead. Okay, cool. Yeah, expected to get reset stamped here, but that's why we got this guy set up. So we can draw cards through the reset stamp, and that's a pretty good, um, pretty good cards to have right there. Actually, that can we can do a lot with these these babies right here. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm fine with this hand. Probably gonna mysterious treasure away the mismages, uh and get ourselves. Um, I don't know what we want to grab yet. Hmm. We'll decide here in a bit. So they're setting it up the Xerneas GX. Probably to use the Xerneas GX attack. So if we could like 
I don't know if I would want to double custom knock that thing out, but well, now they have all the energy on it, so yeah, I would be fine double custom knocking that thing out. Um, I'm gonna go with mysterious treasure away, I'm just, just and we're gonna grab this guy here. I'm gonna put a karate belt on him, and then we are going to uh, mysterious message, draw some cards. Um. So we did get the greens for the double custom. Um, take away three more energy out of play. That sounds pretty good. They'd be down five energy. Um, I would have to GX attack. Because this wouldn't quite... Yeah. Hmm. Treasure away this guy. We want to get a mischievous in play for sure to deal with the potential of what's it called happening. Yeah, yeah, I think I just want to knock that thing out. We're gonna go for it here, I think. Double customs and bring it up, and then we'll just GX it. We don't even have to GX. Well, we do have to GX attack if we want. Yeah, sure, sure. We'll see how it goes. Bring it up. Uh, I am gonna throw a counter gain here because it's gonna be useless now. And then oh, we didn't have to GX attack for the full effect though. Oops, I should have still attached it to the bench. For some reason, I was thinking I had to use it for the full effect. Uh, that's definitely a mistake. Oh, well. Knocking this boy out. Should have still attached to this guy on the bench. And then eventually, hopefully, gotten that weakness guard energy. And then been all good to go from there. So, yeah, that was a big mistake there with that uh, psychic energy attachment. There was no reason to ever have that there over here. Should have definitely been on our bench dude right there. Um, my bad. Uh, <laughs> nothing we can do about it now. Um, yeah, there's a reset stamp. Fully expected that to happen. That's why we had to get this guy in play, so we can potentially get the Miss Magus out and uh, be good to go from there. They don't have a ton of energy left, which is why I kind of made the play the way I did. Um, but this Psychic Energy should 100% have been on the Giratina and Garchomp. There's the Weakness Guard Energy for it, so that is still pretty good. Uh, that is actually an insane draw right there, um, if I do say so myself. Um, draw. All right, Weakness Guard Energy. And then 100 blows impact. We should have one more energy on this guy. So that kind of stinks a little bit, I guess. But oh well, nothing we can do about that now. Um, and we're just waiting to top deck. Hopefully a greens or something. There's a tails on a scoop up. That's cool to see. Keep this damaged guardian play. Doesn't not going to really be a big deal. We're down three custom catchers. So we can't even really bring it back up and knock it out anyway. So really not that big of a deal that this is uh, damaged. There's another super scoop up. Let's see if they can pull it off. I'm rooting for them on this one. Oh, that's why you don't play scoop up, folks. There we go. It's just going to be the switch tag switch. That's still good. That gets them out of there. <clears throat> and the chip chip lock. Oh, dear. Well, I did not expect that. That is pretty good, though. That well, Even if it is just a one of chip chip. I think we have to sacrifice the mischievous here. Because, man, this thing could have two energy on it. But then I had to go and mess it up. Um, Yeah, I think we're sacrificing the mischievous here. Yep, go mischievous. And then we might have to send this guy up as a sacrifice as well. Oh, that's a that's a psychic energy, though. That was a pretty good top deck. That was a pretty good one for them to give us. Um, I'm going to bench him just to have the option to send him up instead. Uh, I don't think there's anything in our deck that where, we, where we'd want to discard cards out of hand. We're down to three treasures, so <clears throat> don't need to have a Pokemon in hand to discard. There is double customs going after... What are they going to go after, though? Our guy with energy. All right, here we go. We need to top deck some form of healing this turn, or we do just lose the game, because they'll hit us for 150 into 150, and we just need one great potion. We do have a lot of great potions left. Did they just double custom again? Oh, they changed their mind. They want them to chant Marshadow. All right. Well, now we need to get to our switch card. If we top deck our switch, then we're big chilling. Let's see. That's Lusamine. I don't think that'll do it. It will get us a greens for next turn, but uh, that's not going to be enough, I don't think. Two greens, uh, pass over to our opponent. So this one was uh, a little rough. I did mis misplay uh, a little bit in this one though, which uh, ultimately led to our demise in the end. I maybe played a little bit too aggressively too. I could have like played a little bit slower, uh, but we are gonna take an L here to the Guardian. Um, uh, rather unfortunate. And that is gonna do it for this video on Mark Lutz's Machamp, Marshadow, Giratina, Garchomp tag team deck super interesting deck um it is definitely fun to play super cool deck 
a lot of depth to it. I haven't quite mastered it, that is for sure, as you guys can tell from this video. Um, but I definitely recommend, if you're looking for something new and refreshing to play, to definitely check this deck out and give it a try. Um, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.